Okay, so straight on to question three, and after me having a little bit of a whinge at the end of question two, I had a bit of a whine about it. <laughs> question three is all about wine. There's nobody here, that's why nobody left. All right. An expert tested the quality of the wines produced by a vineyard in nine particular years. He placed them in the following order, starting with the best. Starting with the best, so the best, that's the first ranked one. Count the experiment's rank correlation coefficient between the year of production and the quality of these wines. We need to turn everything into ranking numbers, into ordered numbers. So, what have we got? We have a little table to draw, I think. Oh, oh hang on, hang on, what am I doing? Right, 80. I'm, I'm not going to write all of the full stuff. I'm going to write these are the years. So, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. There's my years. And um, in age order, that was the oldest, and there are my rankings going through the ages. In um, taste order, then it was, that was the best, that one was second, 81 was third, 82 was fourth, 84 was fifth, 87, oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one, 87, 86, what have I done? Have I missed out? Oh, I missed out 85. Oh, this is all gone wrong, hasn't it? Right, so concentrate. What were they doing? 84 was 5th, 85 was 6th, 87 was 7th, 86 was 8th, and 89 was last. 1, 3, 4, 2, 5, 6, 8, 7, 9. Yes. Of course, experiment rank, we need the differences between these. And we need to square the differences. So we get that. And the important thing is that we need the sum of all the squares of the differences. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So sigma d squared is 8. Um, and the Spearman's rank formula is given for you on the formula sheet. 1 minus 6 sigma d squared over n, n squared minus 1. All that's left is to throw some numbers into that. 1 minus 6 times 8 over, there were 9 numbers here, well, so 9 times 81 minus 1. Gives us a fantastically high value of 14 over 15. Um, and it's okay, of course, to give the exact value of this, 0 0.93 recurring. Um, notice, if you're going to write a decimal of this, then you've got to write 0.93 with a little dot over it or 0.933 to three significant figures but not 0.93 because that's not the right answer that's neither an exact value or a three significant figure value so be careful about that right, good answer state what this value of RS shows in this context There we go, in this context. Uh, so we've got to turn it into some context. What does it mean? This means that there is a very high, very strong correlation between how old the wine was and how good it tasted. So in context, this means that the older wine was better. We've got a strong agreement between the ranking of expert and the year. Meaning, this is the context bit, that older wine is better quality. Older wine tastes better. That's the conclusion. So we've got to put it in context. It's not enough to say strong correlation, strong agreement between age and quality. It's got to be this bit here, all the wine tastes better. That's the key thing. There we go. And that is all of it.
I'm going to stop the video in my echoey classroom. That's maths.